In most elections, you only vote for one candidate for each office. But in some elections, voters can rank three or more candidates for each office. It's called ranked choice voting. Here's an example of how it works. All of the candidates will be listed on the ballot in three columns. Make your first choice vote in column one by filling in the oval of the candidate you'd most like to win. Vote for your second choice in column two and make your third choice in column three. That's all there is to it. Now let's see how the votes are counted. Let's say there are four candidates running for mayor, Asha, Zach, Omar, and Lucy. Once the polls close, we count all the first choice votes first. To be elected mayor, a candidate needs more than half the votes. In this example, Asha has more than half of the votes, so she's declared the winner. However, if no candidate gets more than half the votes, we start eliminating candidates and counting the next choices of those who voted. In this example, Zach is the candidate with the smallest number of first choice votes, so he is cut. We use the second choice votes on Zach's ballots and count those voters' second choices instead. If one of the remaining candidates now has more than half of the total votes, that candidate is declared the winner. If not, the next lowest candidate, Lucy, is eliminated. Her votes are now counted for the next choice on the ballot. Some of Lucy's votes went to Zach, who was already eliminated, so those new votes for Zach instead count for those voters' third choice candidate. We are now down to two candidates, and Omar clearly has more than half of the votes. That makes him the winner. That's how ranked choice voting works. For more information on ranked choice voting, visit our website.